Whoa. Whoa, a car. Whoa. What's going on, guys? So, it is a Sunday rest day cardio day, technically. And I always put my girl through a, uh, a vigorous leg day on Sundays. So, I did that. Beat her up. Cardio. Taken care of. I just ran over a stick or I blew a tire out. Because that was way louder than it should have been. I'm sure it's fine. And aside that, we have a couple little things to do today. Nothing major. I have some work to do, of course, but that's nothing out of the ordinary. So from here, my barber closes in about an hour. We have to go see him because your, uh, your man's looking a little, a little sloppy. Once I see the greys coming in, like their own little their own little field on the side of my head a little bit too. I uh, I know it's time. But I have a couple big meetings this week and I want to be sharp for them. And in general, it's just you know if you're a guy probably 99.5% of my audience the other 0.5% just uh, I don't know, click the wrong gender by mistake. A fresh haircut feels good, man. Because I'll always say, like, I feel like I'm a mess right now. You know, my hair is slightly longer than I use, I'm used to it being. And it's not even bad. Like, I've been way worse than this. But you get that fresh cut, you're like, whew, baby. It's like a whole new level of confidence running through your veins. So we've got to do that today. And I'm on a mission to build the most tactical like gallon container bag the world has ever seen because what happened a long time ago months now at this point which is it's still annoying me but uh my gym band tripods and gym bags like you can bring a gym bag to the gym but you can't leave it on the floor so when you go get stuff out of a cubby you know i have to go get my belt when i need it my wraps when i need it it's just annoying now, my tactical gallon bag isn't going to fit my, my belt, because I don't, I don't need to be adding shit to it that's that big. But, when that happened, what I did was, you know those gallon gear, or like a million other brands, but the covers that go on the regular gallon containers, yeah, right, right here, like these, right? So I got one of those, but I found one that would allow me to add like a tactical bag to it because this didn't this didn't come with it. I attached this totally separate. So there's like a little tact tactical attachment spot there. So I bought a big tactical bag, clipped it in there. You know, makeshift so it it looks good now, but when I got it, it was really folded a little bit more. It wore in a little bit. Because I don't want to be throwing my workout bag, not my workout bag, my workout book on the floor all day. Because I keep it with me when I train. And that I'm not running back and forth to my, my little gym cubby for. It would drive me insane. So I put my little book in there. I have the mics that I use. Those stay in there too. <clears throat> now, recently you've been seeing me film a bit more workouts, which is awesome, and what is this guy doing? But I've been filming more workouts in the gym lately, since I found a solution to them not allowing the tripods, which they said it was okay, so I'm not worried about it, but you can get a little magnet case and stick it to your phone and stick it to the machines and film whatever you want to film, right? It was more so people were putting tripods in the middle of the freaking gym, and it was, it was out of hand, you know? So I'll still use a tripod in the posing room, which is no problem, but on the gym floor, it's a, it's a no-no. So I searched long and hard for a magnetic phone, call it case, if you will, that does what I want it to do. Why is my GPS taking me somewhere? We're not going anywhere, dude. I know where I'm going. I saw my little my GPS in front of me, not on the screen, just freaking out. I'm like, what's going on? 
So I managed to find a strong one that kind of flattens itself out a little bit, but it comes out with like a pivot. So let's just say I want to work out over here, right? And the machine is here. I would have to bring the weights from here, move it into the front of the machine, and do my workout here. That doesn't work all the time. Not to mention you're going to be the asshole bringing all the weights all over the place to film yourself and set it back. And if I'm filming a work set and I'm holding 300 pounds, I'm not walking around with 300 pounds around the goddamn gym. It'll drive me crazy. It'll kill my set. And it's not worth it. So I found this mic, not mic, this uh, magnetic tripod thing where it sticks on and there's like a lever on it so I can really... I can face it this way, or this way, or up, or down, or over and out, and around a corner. It's pretty cool. What's funny is, in terms of, like, levers on a tripod, I have the exact same setup in my car, which is what's holding my phone up right now. <clears throat> because my passenger seat has a screen on it. So, like, if I have somebody sitting right here, they can plug in a fire stick, if they want to, actually, and watch, like... Netflix on there, assuming I'm paying for the Wi-Fi in my car. My car has a lot of cool little weird features, but um, one thing that was really, because I've never seen a car that can do this, one thing that's really cool with it is there's an outlet, like a regular 110, in like the back seat over here, So, and there's an HDMI in here. So if you're a gamer... Like, you know, I, I am a little bit. I'm not afraid to admit it. I love a good game. I just wish I had more time to play. But, um... There's people who, like, plug in an Xbox back there, put the HDMI in the front port here, and they can play Xbox in the passenger seat. So if you're going on a... And imagine... And let's just say, hypothetically, I bought the Wi-Fi for my car, right? Bought the Wi-Fi for my car. Bring my Xbox... I have it plugged in in the back, plugged in. The HDMI is in the front. And we're going for a six-hour car drive. I can play Xbox Live on the parkway. Not if I'm driving, obviously. But um, let's say I had my girl drive and I wanted to live a little dangerously. right? I let her drive, but I get to play Xbox the entire time. Or teach her how to play Halo. I don't know why every girl's shooting game goes to Halo, but it does, and it's a great game. That's pretty freaking cool, man. If I, you know, if I do say so myself. I think it's awesome. But, you know, that's... And you can change the radio and the GPS and all that jazz from that passenger seat screen. But, of course, my mind immediately goes to, like, oh, we can play, we can play some Xbox. I would say my Switch, I could plug my Switch into it, but the screen's basically the same damn size as the Switch screen. Maybe it's a little bit bigger. So, meh, whatever. Whatever on that one, but the Xbox, man, that's pretty cool. Or an Apple TV, if I want to plug an Apple TV into it, it would work fine. Like, that's, that's some fun creativity right there, if I do say so myself. My only kicker is when you're sitting in the driver's seat, right? You know the phones with the privacy screens? So, like, if somebody's sitting over there, I can't see what's on their phone unless you're, like, directly in front of it. So it has a privacy screen automatically built into it. Which is for the best. Because if it didn't have that, I'd probably be playing Pumping Iron and Bodybuilding Motivational videos and watching, like, Dorian Yates or Ronnie Coleman just screaming at the top of their lungs to the right of me, like in my passenger seat, when I'm on my way to the gym. So, I get why that privacy screen is there. You know, you don't need people watching Netflix while they drive. It'd be... I don't want to say it'd be nice, because it's a really, really bad idea. But, if you're going to use those powers for good and not evil, like I wanted to, where I just wanted to listen to some bodybuilding stuff then there's nothing wrong with it but most people would probably catch up on their newest season of whatever and 
probably a bad idea. But anyway, tactical bag, where this whole thing started. So the tactical bag I have is the one where if I slap the book bag on there, things like that, there's a little slot in there I can put my phone. But now I have this magnetic tripod. The magnet's probably about the size of my fist, right? And it's a strong magnet. Now, I don't want to stick it in my little bag because there's not enough room for that in my book and that's for my book, you know? So what I'm going to do is, there's another spot for Velcro on there. I'm going to go pick up some of those, I don't know if, you, if you're familiar with them, like an, elect, like an electric outlet box plate cover. It's pretty much, think of it as a solid piece of metal like this big, right? I'm going to stick it inside the gallon container and I'm going to bring my tripod to Home Depot. I'm going to make sure what I'm buying is magnetic. It doesn't have like some plastic alloy in there or something. On the assumptions all good, I'm going to stick that in there. Uh, make sure it stays somehow, which to be honest with the weight of a gallon, like with the pressure of a gallon pushing against it, it's not going to go anywhere. And then I'm going to stick the tripod to the side of it. And it flattens out. It doesn't stick all the way out. It flattens out nicely. So like I can get it to be like as thick as a hockey puck. And then even if I want to use my gallon as a tripod, I can just extend it out from right from there. If there's nowhere good to mount the camera. So, you know, I'm like a secret little engineer. I love that stuff. Like a little Iron Man. You know, I love figuring things out, tinkering. I wish there was more I could do. Like I need some big, gr if you gave me a big garage, a welding kit, and I don't know. Enough time to learn electronics and circuits. I don't know what I would come up with. But I'm telling you right now, the first thing would take way too long. And it would be incredibly stupid. And I'd love every second of it. But you know what, guys? We're, uh, we're approaching the barbershop right now. I can't really wait and chit-chat in the car longer because he closes in an hour and you know it sucks when you see somebody walking in the barber right before you and now you're waiting a half hour because you were on your phone for two minutes so on that note my friends I will see you tomorrow hope you have a great day keep up the good work baby